This is mission one of the Their Greatest Challenge Luftwaffe campaign. We're flying the BF 109E3 variant and we're stationed in the Normandy region of France. So, mission one is going to be to perform a fighter sweep along the south coast of England. Cleared for takeoff. Pitching the nose forward a little bit so it can get the back wheel off the ground. Get better acceleration. Going to turn towards the north. First waypoint on this mission is to get to La Havre on the French coast. Flying in a wing of four planes today. The rest of the formation is just taking off behind me. I'm going to climb to about 7,000 meters on the way to La Havre. And once we're there, we're then going to cross the channel. Quite a lot of flying to do over the water to get to Eastbourne. And then we'll perform our fighter sweep heading west. So we'll pass Brighton and head towards Selsey. And we'll engage anything that we see along the way. Once our mission is complete, we will return and land at Le Havre Air Base. Made it to La Havre, we're up at 7,000 meters and cruising at 300 kilometers an hour. Flying in our formation of four planes. It's time to head out over the coast and turn towards Eastbourne. Got a lot of water to fly over and part of the challenge of these missions being based out of the Normandy region of France is that we need to have the fuel and we need to keep the plane in good enough condition to get over to England, do battle and then make it home to land in one piece. So let's head out towards Eastbourne. We're roughly halfway across the channel now. The French coastline is barely visible in the distance behind us. Ahead of us, again, barely visible, is the south coast of England. We've almost reached the south coast of England now. Eastbourne is directly ahead of us, about 20 kilometers away. I'm going to turn the plane towards the west. I don't want to get too close to the coastline because uh, anti-aircraft fire will be alerted. I think that's Eastbourne just passing under the wing now. So I'm going to track along the coastline yeah, that's Eastbourne down there. I'm going to head west to pass by Brighton. And towards Selsey. I'm going to keep my eye out for any RAF fighters that might be in the area.
Just as we were about to head west to follow the coastline down to Selsey, word is that there's a formation of Spitfires off our three o'clock, and there they are. I see six planes there. So we're gonna double back towards the east and engage. Doesn't look like they've spotted us, so there's an opportunity here to drop onto the back of this formation. And try to take one out with a surprise attack. Our wingman is spread out there. I want to go in here and try to get on the back of one of these Spitfires and take it down. Closing in at uh, 430 kilometers an hour. Spitfires are holding their formation. So I'm going to get one chance at this. Go for the Spitfire to the left of my crosshair. There we go, tagged as radiator. Got his oil line as well. Sure, I've done enough to take that Spitfire out of the equation. So now it's a five versus four dogfight. I have to focus on maintaining altitude and speed as best as possible. Get onto the six of this Spitfire. Question is, can I stay there? So close, but I'm not quite at his altitude. I'm gonna stick with him. There's another Spitfire going to the left there. Gotta watch, I'm not burning up my engine. All the planes in front of me now. I want anything to get onto my six. A quick look. There's a plane there. It's like a couple of planes dogfighting on my six. I'm gonna stay with this bit five as long as it takes. He 
he's looping underneath me. So I want to do a left turn. A couple of other Spitfires here as well. That's the plane that I was chasing. Coming back into view now. Stay on him. And that's one of my wingmen up ahead, so yeah, I've got to try and intervene here. A bit far off with those machine gun shots. I'm closing in, should be able to get some shots in with the cannons here. I started firing on my wingman. Here we go, got a couple of hits there with the cannon. And again, I've... Yeah, I've definitely hit his water radiator and his fuel lines. Okay, he looks pretty wrecked. I think I've done enough to take him out of the equation. Albeit, I've lost a wingman in the process. of planes with damage beneath me there. There's a few Spitfires here turning to the left. That's close. Okay, that's a wingman just behind me, thankfully. See if we can make it three kills. I'm gonna stick around, try to maintain my altitude and speed. The Spitfire's gone way above me. Okay, he's dropped off my six. That's one of my wingmen damaged. <laughs> That's a, that was close. Spitfires are so good in the climb there. Can't match his climb. Just hang back until he drops back down. Maybe we can stay with this bit fight. can get a little bit closer he'll be in range of my weapons well there we go knocked a couple of bits off his plane oh it's a bit too close to her
I think he's behind me now. That's not great. He's just dropped away. All right. Try and turn back around. Pushing my aircraft to the absolute limit here. Almost stalled the engine there, but I've managed to stay on track. Try and stay with this Spitfire. Oh, that was close. Trying to keep my revs up as best as I can. need to try to get above him, he's got the altitude advantage every time when he goes into his climbs there. Missed with those cannon shots. Can I get another attempt? Oh, I think I missed again. I'm taking shots. I don't see anything around me. I'm just going to stay with this guy if I can. Lost a lot of speed here now. sure what it was that was shooting me. I can see the wingman behind me. Desperately trying to catch this Spitfire. I'm really close now. Must have hit with one or two of those machine gun shots. Oh, 
don't have any cannon rounds left. I've taken shots again. There's a Spitfire right behind me. I have to break off. Try to evade. Okay, he's turned. He's coming back across me. Oh, so close. Can I turn on to his six? Yes, I can. All right, let's go for this. Looks like he's making a run back to base. So I'm just gonna go as fast as I can without burning up this engine. Take some shots there. I scored a couple of hits there, see a few pieces of his plane falling off. Oh, there we go, I've hit the radiator. I finish this guy off. Oh, there we go. at least three Spitfires I've managed to take out on this mission. See some fighting down there. That plane which is smoking is one of my wingmen. There's a Spitfire just here. So let's uh, have a go at this Spitfire. Nothing else, just to get him off my wingman. My wingman looks to be trailing fuel. And he needs to RTB. Let's see if I can get some hits on this Spitfire. Missing with most of those machine gun shots. But we'll persevere here whilst I've still got ammunition. This one looks to be slipping away from me. I just can't quite get him 
lined up. Oh, and now I've overshot. Pass over me. But he's not dropping onto my six. Alright. Well, I think it might be time to break off and head back to base. Our work here is largely done. Got a lot of damage on my wing there. Full of uh, holes from the Spitfire that attacked me. But the plane is okay. I think it's just the damage to the rudder a little bit and some damage on the landing flaps as well. My wingman there is leaking fuel. He needs to RTB. And I think we're going to do the same. made it back across the channel, we've got the French coastline ahead of us. I'm really happy to be almost back to base after what has been an epic dogfight over the south coast of England. One of my wingmen is still with me. We have another one lagging behind us. He's leaking fuel quite heavily. Well, hopefully he'll make it back to base. And we lost the fourth member of our party to the Spitfires, which is a shame. But in return, we managed to destroy four of the six Spitfires that we intercepted. I'm really happy with the mission outcome. My fuel situation is fine. I've still got half a tank of fuel and cruising at a nice speed here, 400 kilometers an hour slowly starting to descend I'm about 2,000 meters up at the moment so we're about five minutes flying time off from Le Havre Air Base which is where we're gonna land it's just along the coast uh, through the clouds there Approaching the city of La Havre now. Got the airfield just off the nose of the plane there, coming into view. Wingman's going to land first, so he should be joining the circuit any second now. And there he goes to prepare for his landing. Gonna make my way over the airfield and I'll come back in and make my preparations for landing. See my wingman there is on his final approach to the runway. I 
and he's made it down safely. Time to turn the plane in. Landing gears down. myself nicely lined up. Speed's looking good, just around 200 kilometers an hour. Here we have the statistics for the mission. We can see the four Spitfires that I destroyed here listed. And we lost two of the 109s. The first one here was taken by the Spitfires. And the second one is the 109 that was leaking fuel. It actually made it back to France, but crash landed close to Le Havre Air Base. That's mission one of the Their Greatest Challenge campaign completed battle was a success so thanks for watching and see you next time